Meet Sebastian Begueri, CEO and founder of AlphaCat. He will guide you through the AlphaCat mini kit step by step. In this video, we will show you how you can use the cannabinoid analysis test to know what's in your medicine. The AlphaCat uses an established method to test quantitative percentages within plus or minus 2% of CBD, THC, THCV, CBG, and CBC. It also analyzes acidic counterparts such as THCA and CBDA, which provide insight into a sample's age and quality. The kit is mobile, so you can take it anywhere and test all kinds of products to accurately dose and label your cannabis-derived products. The kit includes, among other things, gloves, test plates, and tubes. The only thing you need for yourself is an oven, in case you plan to decarboxylate your sample, a scale, and your testing sample. For this video tutorial, we will test four different samples, raw herb, hashish, RSO oil, and CBD extract. You can test up to four samples for each plate. Take the tutorial and follow the instructions. The testing process begins with weighing the herb sample amount needed for the potency test. The amount needed is 100 milligrams and is placed in the extraction tube. This also applies for the other samples, hashish, RSO oil, and the CBD extract. Next, the coated side of the test plate is carefully marked while avoiding to touch the white front. After you have taken the test fluid and pipette out of the package, collect one milliliter of this fluid with the pipette and add it to the extraction tube. Quickly close the lid of the extraction tube and shake vigorously for 10 seconds. Then proceed by holding the capillary tubes with its bulb holder. Use one capillary tube to take a drop of the sample solution by dipping one end of the capillary tube into the extraction tube solution. Make sure that the capillary tube absorbs one microliter automatically and is full to the top. You are now ready to apply it on the marked spot of the test plate by letting the lower end touch the coated white front. The fluid will be released on the plate's marked spot. Use a new capillary tube for each different sample. Or if you notice that the capillary tube becomes clogged by a small amount of plant material. Allow the plate to dry for 30 seconds. The next part of the testing process is to heat up the plate by placing it in a preheated 150 degrees Celsius oven for five minutes. Remember that you can avoid the heating part if the decarboxylation is not of your interest or if your product does not need to be heated prior to the consumption. When the time is up, remove it out of the oven. The plate is hot, so be careful when handling. Let it cool for 30 seconds. Now continue by adding two milliliters of test fluid into the jar development container and then insert the test plate that will lean at a slight angle with the marked spots pointing downwards. Close the jar and allow the plate to soak up the test fluid for about 25 minutes until it reaches the top of the plate. Now that the fluid has been absorbed, simply take the plate out of the jar and leave it drying for about five minutes. Meanwhile, prepare the coloring dye for the revealing phase of the testing process. Make sure to always wear gloves when handling chemicals. Empty the content of one dye microtube into the dipping tray and add 25 milliliters of water to it. Gently move the dipping tray back and forth to help the dye dissolve. 15 seconds later, you are ready to dip the test plate with the coated side downwards and for only one second. Let the plate dry for 10 minutes and do the reading of the colored dots between four and eight minutes after the dipped coloring. Use the cannabinoid chart ruler to measure the colored dots diameter of each cannabinoid to quantify their level in your sample. Finally, it is time to calculate the percentages and get more control of your sample. 
Place the transparent measurement scale over your tested plate and find the dot that is most similar to the dot on your plate. Each result reading will need to be multiplied by two. Now you know what's inside your medicine. Thank you for watching.